All right, so the premise for this experiment was actually very simple. Let's take a good looking white guy and give him shitty photos, and let's take a guy who's not so good looking, someone who's bald and Indian, has an accident, give him really good photos. Let's make sure we isolate for every factor. Let's put them in the same city for the same amount of time, give them no bios, right? So we can really see how much your looks matter compared to having good photos. Anyway, so let's start off first with the chat. There's someone whose name is Hugh, and he's pretty popular in my community. A lot of the black pillars have massive bonus when it comes to this guy. Let's take a look at his profile. So here you can see that his first photo is, you know, kind of is what you would expect to right now he's a good looking dude but this photo sucks you know it looks like it was taking on 1997 flip phone you know he's kind of posing for it right not a great photo but good looking guy now let's keep going here we have a weird selfie another weird selfie weird faces weird selfie and weird selfie right and that's basically his whole profile now if you're someone who watched a lot of this channel might be thinking bro come on like no one's profile is this bad but actually this is something you will see all the time on tinder right ask any girl they'll be like yeah i see profiles like this all the time sometimes even worse so this is not uncommon at all now let's take a look at what kind of results he got we let this run in atlanta for 48 hours and can you guess how many likes he got during that time he got a grand total of 17 likes so that means about eight girls swipe right on him per day and let's take a look at the quality of these girls so there are going to be some attractive ones here this girl is from 9,000 miles away so she's probably trying to sell him like some OnlyFans shit but then we go to this girl can't really tell this girl whose name is heaven not so much this girl's fucking hot uh this girl seems okay this girl can't really tell uh, can't really tell can't really tell this girl's meh uh meh uh decent i guess this girl's okay uh that girl was okay this girl no no and then that's a dude i don't even know how that happened and that's a god only knows what and that's basically it so again he got e 17 likes during 48 hours now let's compare that to the indian guy all right so you might be wondering who's this mysterious indian gentleman well it's my business partner indian p and we figured he was the perfect person for this experiment because he's kind of below average to average looks he's indian he's bald but he has amazing photos. Now let's take a look at the profile we put together. So look at his main photo. I personally picked this one to be the first one because it's an awesome photo. He looks good in it. His facial expression is on point. His body language is on point. He looks confident. He looks like he's kind of smirking, but the photo looks very natural. Overall, this is an amazing photo. It doesn't really get much better than this. Let's take a look at the second one. This is more of a lifestyle photo. And you want to kind of alternate between photos where a girl can clearly see your face and photos where you're doing some shit, right? It looks like he lives a cool life here. Then we have the third one, which is a dog photo. As corny as it may seem to you know some guys, actually dog photos are literally the most effective type of photos you can have. According to OK Cupid study, second being shirtless photos. And of course, because it is my dog that makes it even more effective. It doesn't get cuter than Rhaegar. Here's the fourth photo. Kind of has a little bit of a 50 shades of gray type of vibe. If 50 shades of gray was Indian. And here's another one. This is him just kind of like a social shot, chilling, overall decent photo. And the last one, probably the worst one out of the bunch, but still overall decent photo. Now look, is this profile perfect? No, right? I think he could have more action shots, more photos of him doing things, less photos of him standing around, and that last photo could be replaced with one that's more similar to the first one. But again, this profile overall is really fucking solid. Now, let's see what kind of results he got during the same exact time frame in the same exact city, Atlanta. And he got 57 likes. That is about 4x better. And there's a pretty substantial difference, right? Because let's say this profile ran for a month or two months compared to the other one, he would have hundreds and hundreds of more matches. And let's take a look at the conversations he had. So for this part of the experiment, we actually went one step further and we sent an apocalypse message to some of the girls being like, hey, you seem cute, we should meet up for a drink because we don't want any black pillars whining saying, the girls only match with him by accident, they would have never met up with him, right? So we want to actually see how many girls would just straight up meet up with him off the opener, which is not an optimal text game strategy, but a good way to kind of determine certain things. Anyway, let's take a look at this. So we're just going to quickly go through his profile. So here you can see just the girls that he was matching with, he was talking with, right? It just keeps going, going, going. Okay, so this is the first one. She says, I'm down, but we can't see her face. Thanks, Greg. Let's take a look at the second one. Uh, this girl, okay, this girl's decent, I guess. Uh, let's see, third one. This girl's okay. Uh, this girl, not so much. Uh, let's see what else we have. We do, oh, this girl seems cute. Okay, I like that. And uh, that seems to be it. So five girls are agreed off the open. And oh, there were some girls, I guess he didn't message. And this, again, was within 24 hours. So it's not bad. So overall, I would say something like one out of the four girls that he matched with were girls that you might meet up and want to sleep with, right? Which is a little bit lower ratio than came the chat. But because he had so many more likes, that means overall, there was a lot more girls that were bangable that he was actually being able to talk to. All right, so in case you haven't figured out, moral of the experiment is that photos really matter. There's some people who seem to think, oh, unless you're really good looking, you're 
you're not gonna get any results with online dating, but you saw in this experiment, you can be a guy who's average looking, even a bit below average looking, still get solid results if you have really amazing photos. You can also be a guy who's good looking and get pretty shitty results because your profile sucks. I've actually coached quite a few chats myself who were struggling until they upgraded their photos because the original photos absolutely sucked. And I think this video is motivational because it shows you that of course looks matter. If both of these guys had the same level of photos, they would obviously the chat guy would get much better results because his potential is higher. But if you're someone who's not that attractive, you can compensate by that by having really amazing photos. Unless you're like deformed and your arm is missing and you're all kinds of fucked up, you can probably do pretty well on Tinder with solid photos, especially because most guys have absolutely horrible photos. I would say over 90% of men. Also check out this free guide that we just created, which shows you five of the most difficult texts that girls will send you and how to respond to each one of them. Best of all, it's free. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.